So the first thing we need to know is that all numerical data are the result of uncertain measurements. Any measurement has some degree of uncertainty. When we say precision, we are referring to a measure of the degree of fineness of a measurement. Precision depends on the extent to which the instrument is calibrated. For example, if we have a measurement that reads 10 meters, in science that means something. And what it means is not the same as 10.00 meters or 10.00000 meters. This last measurement is more precise than this one. The degree of fineness of this measurement on the right is much higher than on the left. When repeated, precise measurements yield similar answers each time. Let's say that you and two lab partners are measuring a length and each of you measures it once and these are your answers. Those are precise measurements. They're very, very close. On the other hand, if you and your two lab partners measure these values, those are not very precise. A good rule of thumb is that the percent by which your measurements differ gives you a good idea of how precise your measurements are. You can see that in these top three measurements, the percentage by which they differ is very, very small. Whereas down here, the percentage by which these differ is much, much larger. For example, if you take the 0.8 and the 0 0.6, 0 0.6 is only 75% of 0.8. That's a pretty big percentage difference there. So if the percentage difference is very large, those data measurements are probably imprecise. Accuracy is not the same as precision. Accuracy deals with how close a measured value is to the true value. It's a measure of how right you are. And there are three types of error that can affect accuracy. Human error means that you've made a mistake in reading the instrument or recording the results. Human error is entirely because you weren't careful enough. We can minimize human error by doing repeated measurements. Method error means that we aren't using the measuring instrument properly. For example, parallax in measuring with a meter stick. If you see this diagram here underneath the bullseye. If you are using this ruler to measure the length of this block, you know that you want to have your eye perpendicular to the ruler. You don't want to have your eye off to the left or off to the right because that will skew the accuracy of your measurement. A third type of error is instrument error. An instrument error means that your measuring device has been improperly calibrated, such as a bathroom scale that reads five pounds too heavy. It's nothing necessarily that you've done, but the instrument is simply off. You minimize that by taking proper care of your instrumentation. So let's summarize. In this lesson we discussed the difference between precision and accuracy and the three types of error that affect accuracy and how to minimize them. Human error, you minimize by taking repeated measurements. Method error, you minimize by knowing how to use the measuring instrumentation properly. And you minimize instrument error by treating instruments with care and properly maintaining them.